Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in on this fine early autumn afternoon. It's beautiful outside. It's about 60 degrees. And guys, week five college football, OMG. There's so many big games. I'm going to be going over the top games for week five. Things to look at, kind of previewing everything. Uh, and also looking at the weather, which we you know is a huge factor when it comes to these games. We do have two big Friday games, and I would say both of these teams could easily be on upset alert. We're taking a look at Iowa at Maryland. Iowa's a very interesting team, and I'm very concerned about Iowa personally. I'm very concerned about their offense. Maryland, on the other hand, they don't have a great defense, but I'm sure a lot of people that aren't in the Big Ten are surprised this number is only Iowa minus three and a half, considering Iowa is ranked fifth in the country. Maryland's not even ranked, but to be honest with you, Maryland is a top 20 team, I believe. They have great receivers. They've got a great quarterback in Tagovailoa. And Iowa, they struggle to move the ball. Maryland gets up early. They play them close. It, it, I think it's going to be a really tight game. 8 o'clock, FS1, College Park. Phenomenal game on, you know, to kick off October 1st, to kick off the really fall season. That's great. And then we've got a 9 o'clock game, which, you know, I'm high on uh, Utah State in this one. They will be taking on BYU. BYU has had a great year. They've started out 4-0 as an independent. They're all the, They're all the way up to number 13. But I actually took uh, uh, Utah State plus 8.5 in this game. We're looking at very nice conditions, 69 degrees. That's very nice. Uh, mainly sunny, mainly clear. Great for star watchers. You're going to see a lot of stars in the sky. The light pollution kind of ruins it, we know. There's going to be a lot of stars up there. No clouds. Beautiful. Unbelievable. 9 o'clock start time. So in Utah, that'll be, I think, a 6 o'clock start time. Oh my goodness, the sunset, it's beautiful, that's great. Let's move on to the Saturday games. We've got Arkansas at Georgia. So it's eight versus two. You think that's going to be a really good matchup. The line says otherwise. Georgia is 18 and a half point favorites. I said in my last video, last week we had the over, the battle of the overrated. It was an overrated AM team versus an overrated Arkansas team. And the winner subsequently will be more overrated, right? So I, I think Arkansas is really overrated personally. I think they beat a team that was overrated in Texas. A&M, and I think they will lose to Georgia. Obviously, we'll have to see by how much. It's The thing is, here's the thing. Arkansas, it'd be surprising if they won, but if they kept it close and lost a close game, they're not going to drop at all. I'm telling you this right now. You know, if Florida didn't drop losing to Alabama. If Arkansas keeps this game close somehow, they're not going to drop. That's a noon start time. Georgia's offense doesn't really impress me. Guys, let's remember something about Georgia. Everyone got so high on Georgia and called them a clear-cut top two team in the country when they beat Clemson. Well, now we're realizing Clemson's offense just isn't that good. It's not Now, Georgia's defense is really good. They have absurd athletes. Probably, the I would say, definitely the most talented defense in college football. But this idea that they're so much more talented than everyone else, you know, kind of that narrative getting taken from them beating Clemson, turns out Clemson really isn't that good. But that's a noon game, guys. Look for it on ESPN, 87 degrees. That's too hot. This is October weather. That's too hot. No, that's not going to work. We've got another noon start time. How about this one? Michigan at Wisconsin. Michigan, really one-dimensional last week. Struggled with Rutgers. Rutgers actually outgained Michigan by about 100 yards. They significantly outgained them in the second half. But Michigan was up the entire game. They never really field completely threatened. Rutgers never tied it or anything, so you have to understand that. Uh, but yeah, I like Wisconsin in a really low scoring game. Wisconsin is two-point favorite. It's pretty crazy. Michigan's 4-0. Wisconsin's one and two, yet Wisconsin is two point favorites. We're looking at 73 degree weather in Camp Randall. We're looking at snow, in, or, or excuse me, we're looking at rain in the first half, and then maybe a little snow in the second half. We know how cold it gets up in Wisconsin. It goes down, the temperature goes down as the, as you know it gets tomorrow nighttime. We could be looking at snow in the second half. We'll have to see. I'm not saying it. You know, I saw weather reports. It's, you know, we'll see what happens. 12:30 game, Louisville at Wake Forest. It's a cute story for Wake Forest. They're ranked, uh, you know, 24. Malik Cunningham is a beast. Watch out for him. Uh, Wake is six and a half point favorites in that one. 81 degrees. And we're going we're gonna to get a lot of sun in the first half. And then it's going to be a little cloudy in the second half. Uh, this 230 game. Oh, my goodness. We've got Cincinnati at Notre Dame. Uh, this is going to be a phenomenal game. Cincinnati, I said this in a previous video, they need to put an exclamation point. This is their week to make a statement. Notre Dame is not that good of a team. They're not the ninth best team in the country. They almost lost to Toledo. They almost lost to Florida State. They, oh yeah, they destroyed Wisconsin because they got a punt return for a touchdown and two pick sixes at the end of the game that made the game look like a blowout when it was really close. 
Give me a break, folks. Notre Dame's really not that good. Cincinnati, if they win, you hope they do it convincingly. That's a big opportunity for an American team, really, to prove that they belong in the playoff conversation. Cincinnati, two-point favorites, 75 degrees, mainly cloudy, with a hint of sunshine sprinkled in. 2.30 game, I love seeing that. We've got UL Monroe. Take it on Coastal Carolina. Coastal Carolina, 34 and a half points favorites. Mainly cloudy. Too hot for me in South Carolina. It's 81. I can't do it. I can't do the 81 degrees. Uh, getting on to the big 330 CBS primetime mega game. Old Miss taking on Alabama. Bama. Oh my God. The over under in this game has jumped to 80. I was looking at the over under uh, when it first came out and it was like 76 and a half. And I was like, man, that might go down. It's up to 80. And honestly, I could see the final score of this game being like something obnoxious, something like 52 to 38 or something. Like, yeah, I could see that easily. That's why I wouldn't bet the under. I, I wouldn't do it. These teams are just going to score so many points. Old Miss has a bad defense, really good offense. Bama has obviously a good offense and still a decent defense, but it's tough to stop anyone nowadays in college football. Tuscaloosa, it is going to be 80, 87 degrees. I can't do the heat like that. And then mainly sunny with a little clouds in the second half. So watch out for that. A little overcast in the second half. Yeah, 330 game, Oregon at Stanford. You know, I really doubt Oregon's actually the third best team in college football. But based on their resume, they're ranked third. I can understand it. They are 4-0. They're only eight-point favorites. How about this? The number three team in college football. Only eight-point favorites against the 2-2 two two Pac-12 team. That doesn't seem too right, but 82 degrees, completely sunny. We expect that in California. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. So 330 game, we've got Oklahoma at Kansas State uh, in Kansas. Oklahoma, they're struggling right now. They're ranked, they're down to six now. They are unbeaten, so that's a good thing. Oklahoma, they're still unbeaten, unlike Clemson and Ohio State. But we could be looking at a weather delay, ladies and gentlemen. We've got thunderstorms, high chances in the first half. Those weather delays, they've been happening recently. We've got the big tornado season, things like that. Wow. Oh, no, it's hurricane season. Excuse me. This could be a huge weather delay. They're predicting it. It says it right here. Lightning. Lightning and thunderstorms in the first half. And then we could get a nice sunny time in the second half. Maybe a little rainbow. You know, when it's sunny after it rains, that's a rainbow. Spencer Rattler, are you going to step up? Are you going to play well? Let's go. You got to do something. I thought it was last week was his big coming out party. It didn't happen. We'll have to see what happens. This game, oh my goodness. We've got a primetime matchup. Ohio State taking on Rutgers. The Buckeyes, 15-point favorites. It's a beautiful afternoon for, fo for football in New Jersey. 75 degrees with sun in the first half. And then a little, a little sprinkle of clouds in the second half. This is a huge game when it comes to the Big Ten. And really, you know, understanding where Ohio State is, you know, versus Michigan. Because Michigan faced Rutgers last week and won by seven at home. Now Ohio State goes to Piscataway and faces Rutgers. We'll have to see where this kind of sets up the, between who's better, Ohio State or Michigan. If Ohio State blows out Rutgers, you would have to assume they're clicking on all cylinders. We'll have to see. 15 is a big spread to cover, but Ohio State definitely has the talent to do that. We've got a 6 o'clock game, Florida at Kentucky. I mean, Kentucky nearly lost to Chattanooga. They've been, they've been playing some close games against some bad teams, but they are 4-0. Uh, so they'll be taking on Florida. How about Florida? Only eight-point favorites. It's going to be mainly cloudy for a 6 o'clock start. Or a rare 6 o'clock start in Lexington. We know those fans are going to be crazy. They're facing a top-10 team. That would, If they upsetted them, Kentucky would jump probably into the top at least 20, maybe even the top 15 if they upset Florida. That's an ESPN game. That's a huge opportunity. Another 6 o'clock game, Louisiana Tech taking on NC State, who jumps into the top 25 after their big win against Clemson. That was a big overtime win. They're 20 and a half point favorites. I don't see them covering that line. I think they're going to have a little bit of a hangover. Uh, 83 degrees, and then we get a little bit of clouds in the first half, and then it clears up, and it's a beautiful night for looking at the stars and things like that in the second half. That's on ESPN+. Plus. I won't be able to watch that game. That's unfortunate. We've got an SEC Network game here, really. We've got Mississippi State and Texas A&M, and we've got another weather delay possible here, folks. This could be like a, a hurricane. We don't know what's going to go on. Wow. Look for a low-scoring game here. Texas, and there it is. The over-under is only 46, and that's what it is because they pay attention to the weather. This is a huge thing. Texas A&M, seven-point favorites. Texas A&M doesn't deserve to be in the top 20, let alone top 15. That's ridiculous. Seven o'clock game. Bay How about two ranked teams? Are you kidding me? Baylor and Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, I'm sorry. I I just don't see it. Really, either of these teams, but Baylor did have a big win last week. They did have a big win. We got to give credit to them. We give credit to Baylor. 
We give credit to them. Neither of these teams are that good. Let's be honest. ESPN 2, Oklahoma State 3.5 point favorites, 80 degrees and cloudy. The rain's going to hold off, but there's going to be a lot of clouds, so watch out for that. 7.30 game, Indiana at Penn State. Penn State with another ABC night game at home, and it, like that's two in five weeks. That's pretty good for them. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of an interesting game. Indiana, you know, I ragged on Indiana and said they were one of the most overrated teams. They're now 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Everyone expects Penn State to win this game. So, it, it, you know, I feel like this is a good situation for Indiana. It's like everyone and their mom is picking Penn State. I'm not saying, I'm, I mean, I would pick Penn State too. They're 12, 12 and a half point favorites, but it's almost like a good situation for an Indiana team who, they're, they're still talented. I mean, they have some talent. They've got a good quarterback. I don't know. Maybe they keep it close. It's not like Sean Clifford's a world beater. 71 degrees and mainly sunny. And then at halftime, it gets cloudy. And then it's mainly clear for the second half. 7.30 game, Western Kentucky at Michigan State. Kenneth Walker, the third, he kind of got shut down last week versus a very good defense in Nebraska. I expect him to get back on track at home in East Lansing. 7.30 FS1 primetime. Michigan State looks to keep it rolling. They're already up to 17th in the nation. Then we've got Boston College taking on number 25, Clemson. Clemson looks to get back on track. You're talking about 15 and a half point favorites. Their offense needs to do something. They've suffered significant injuries. They're probably a three or a four loss team at this point. It's 83 degrees. It's mainly sunny with a little, maybe a little fog in the second half. That's what it says there. 83 and maybe some fog. Nine o'clock game. These are games are late. My goodness. ESPN cannot wait for this one. Auburn. How are they ranked? Lord only knows. At LSU, I think LSU is going to win this game. They're three and a half point favorites. Max Johnson and company. Keyshawn Boutte, 86 degrees, mainly sunny, and then a little clouds at the end of the game. At the end of the game, there's some clouds. 10-30 game, we've got Arizona State at UCLA. I think Arizona State wins this game outright. I'm just going to say, I'll say, I don't care. Arizona State wins this game outright. I'm not buying UCLA at this point. They're three-point favorites, 88 degrees. Clear, completely clear skies. And then on an 11 o'clock 11 game in Honolulu. I love this. This is phenomenal. Fresno State at Hawaii. Give me give me Hawaii plus 10 and a half in that one. 87 degrees in Honolulu. You got to be careful with Honolulu. There could be a stray shower. That could affect the over-under. I would go under 65 and a half when you look at the weather report. See, guys, I would originally say if I'm just looking at this Fresno State-Hawaii game, I'd be like, oh, 65 and a half. I'd probably go over. But then I see a little cloud. So that tells me it might rain. I, I immediately go under. I immediately, that's the thing. The weather, how the weather affects these games, it's crazy. But those are all the top 25 games. The biggest game of the weekend, honestly, there are, this is a phenomenal weekend. My goodness. You want to talk about, all right, this game is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Iowa at Maryland. I think Maryland wins this game. This game, eh, whatever. This game kind of overrated. They're like, ooh, top 10 matchup. Come on, really, Arkansas? I'm not buying it. Surprisingly, this is a really good game. Michigan, Wisconsin. Louisville Lake Forest is a dud. Cincy Notre Dame is good. UL Monroe, Coastal Carolina is a dud. Obviously, you know, Old Miss Alabama is a really good game. This is going to be a good game. People will say, oh, you know, Oregon will win. I don't know, man. It'll probably be pretty close. Oklahoma at Kansas State. Kansas State could keep it close, man. They really could with the way Oklahoma's playing. This is a, this is the one. Ohio State and Rutgers, phenomenal. Florida at Kentucky. Kentucky at home, they, they could keep it close. This is a dud. Uh, uh, NC State game's a dud. A&M game's a dud. This is two ranked teams, but I still think it's a dud. Nothing against those programs, but this is a low-key good game. Guys, there are so many good games this week. Uh, Western Kentucky, Michigan State. All right, it's it's interesting. Boston College at Clemson. Boston College 4-0. We'll see what they got at Clemson. Clemson coming off a loss. Auburn at LSU. Competitive football game. Arizona State at UCLA. That's competitive. Fresno State, Hawaii. Beautiful. What a slate this is. This is one of the best slates we're going to get all year. It is going to be October 1st and October 2nd, guys. Cannot wait. Going to be great. That's the full preview for all the top 25 teams that are playing. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.